Hey, sit down. Sit down. What are you, what are you coming up here to do? You want, you want to come take over the service? Uh, huh? Service. What, what do you want? What? I just want a prayer. Man. Get out of here. Can I, get, can I get a little grace? No, no you can't. No. 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 <laughs> Yo. That is wild. Bro, like, did he just ask him to get out? I... Get out of here. Can I, get, can I get a little grace? No, no you can't. No. no. Like, how do you do that? Like, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around that. How do you do that as a, as a pastor? As a pastor, how do you... Someone's coming to the podium and asks you for a prayer. You tell them to get out of there. And what's crazier to me is that the, 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 those people that are attending this church are just sitting there and, and just watch it happen, bro. Like, like who exactly ordained these type of people? No, you can't. No, you, you get out of here. Get him out of here. Drag this bozo out. Pull him out. Hey, help him out. Get him out. He called him a bozo, and all those people are still sitting there. And and look at this. The one of the clowns just just ran to to help him kick kick the guy out. Like nobody else is saying anything. Not a single soul. They're just watching this happen. You're kicking someone out because they came to you and asked for prayer. Man, what is what is happening? And that's supposed to be a church, quote unquote, a church. Right? And you know what? Anybody wants to come up here and take over the service? We'll throw you out of here, buddy. This church is not a free for all. This isn't an open mic. This isn't a karaoke bar. Okay? I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. And if you don't like it, then get out. <laughs> Yo! Dictatorship at its finest, by the way. I, I don't know what type of men this guy said. He's the man of God. He meets the qualifications. Who qualified you, bro? Like, who qualified this man? And you could hear. It's obvious. You could hear from his tonality, from how he speaks. He's definitely not a man of God. Like, this man is telling the people in the assembly, if you don't like my dictatorship, you can get out. I'm the man of God. I need the... Qual what qualification do you meet, bro? You just kick somebody out. And everybody else just looking at you, just chopping away, saying nonsense, utterly nonsense. You meet the qualifications? You're the man of God? You're in charge here? I mean, sure, you may be in charge of that building, but I'd say you're, you're not as close as to the men of God that you say that you are. And the people that are still sitting there like clowns, yes, clowns in the assembly, they're, they're lost souls. This is not some church where every first time visitor and brand new believer and people who've never even read the Bible are going to come up and take over the service. Not happening. Okay? If you want that kind of watered-down leadership, go to some house church with your Amish buddies and sit around the coffee table with your coffee clatch. This is a New Testament church. We have a bishop here. We have an overseer here. Like it or lump it. And if you don't like it, feel free to get up and leave the service at any time. And this is what you have in every block that you walk around. You have these type of churches, right? And you have these type of pastors that are leading those churches in every block that you see but they don't really abide by the word they just in it for personal gains as you could see they're not really there to save souls they're not there to preach the gospel that's not their mission that's not their calling they tell you it's their calling they tell you they need the qualification right that's why they say to the people that are foolish enough to attend these churches but no they're clowns that's what they are they come up there and treat church as if it's their empire, right? They're the God of the church. And if anyone else that does not stoop down to their authority, they kick them out. Simple as that. I'm still tight. The people are still sitting there. Why? Why are you still sitting there after witnessing that disgrace that your leader just did? 
or 50% of people walk out. I don't care. Because you know what? I'm not going to pastor a oneness cult. Amen. I'm not going to pastor a Pentecostal church. I'm the pastor of a Baptist church. Amen. And if you're not a Baptist, then get out. Amen. Well, that's, that tells you everything that's wrong with this church. They believe more in the denomination than the gospel of Christ. That, that right there, that, that should have been the point where everybody just gets up and leaves because he's telling you he's a pastor of a Baptist church, right? Jesus has not come to just die for a certain group of people. No, he came down to reconcile everybody, everyone, no matter your race, your nationality, your ethnicity, no matter of that whole nonsense. But this man is telling you he's a Baptist pastor. That's his special skill set. <laughs> man, that's a lost soul. Everybody in this church, I'm ashamed of them. They're not supposed to be there. And here's my take on this, right? Obviously, you know I'm going to have a take on this. The gospel is for everybody. Everybody. And the church that you're leading is not your organization. You're not the president or the CEO. You don't, you're not a dictator. That's not what you are. You're there, you simply placed there. If indeed you are placed there, obviously, it's obvious, this guy was not placed there. He's just doing whatever he wants to do on his own. That's his choice. Hey, that, that's what you want to do, bro? Go ahead and do that. But if you're at a leadership position in the church where God has placed you to be, I hope if someone comes to you and asks for prayer, that's not how you react. Because we are here to preach the gospel, most importantly. That's what we're here for. What denomination are you in? No, you're a Christ follower. That's who you are. Not your denomination. That should not supersede your mission in this life. That's my take on this. I'll leave it right there with y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comment. And of course, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to the channel. I'll catch y'all next time.